Hello my lovely starborns, welcome to your pick a card reading. Today's topic is what it is that you are overcoming, basically annihilating. <laughs> so we will be getting messages from the constellation Hercules, that's what came in. Carn Carniferous, it's a very large yet dark constellation. And Hercules is the man with a club, with his foot on the head of the dragon. That is Draco. And it is, of course, uh, bordered by many well-known constellations, very important constellations. It spans mm, almost 50 degrees of three signs, which is Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. So we are just out of Scorpio season we are in the Sagittarius season and soon we'll be en entering Capricorn, right? Regardless of when you're watching this, these energies are strong. So yes, this is annihilation. This is transformation. This is about cornucopia. So we are going to look into everything that it is you need to know right now. I'm going to pull three cards for three groups. All right, let's see. This is for my star bones. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, nice. I love this. Group one, group two. Group three. Wow, you all got green crystals. Talk about cornucopia. Hmm. Underlying energy. Tiger's eye. All right. <laughs> Group one. Your card is Pareto. Group two. Your card is Aventurine <laughs> and group three, your card is fluorite. Wow, love this. So choose your group and I will see you at your reading. Hello, group one, you chose Pareto. This is a very lovely crystal. It is lightish green and uh, this is a stone for your heart chakra as well as the solar plexus i feel like right now many of you you are going through awakening that is rooted in ancient civilizations so those past lives could be prominent around this period it's like you're looking at other cultures and other histories from a different po point of view this is like almost like gaining new perspective and uh, see um, all these ancient cultures and especially Egyptian it is very much rooted in starseed origins so Egyptian as well as Mayan all right and I feel like that is the kind of awakening perhaps you're going through or at the moment as well as yeah let's see what the card says Pareto what it is precious Pareto a chic type of olivine is like the vitamin D of your crystal diet plan yeah the light bringer energy the it consolidates the solar energy so it's like enter the kingdom of Ra that's what is happening the stone sunny energy and candy lime hues promote a zest for life the intensity of Pareto's green shade comes from iron iron that's connected to blood that is connected to your DNA so this is ancient DNA activation and of course this is happening because what have you annihilated you have annihilated something and I feel like this is old conditioning limiting beliefs all of that brooders who needs it brooders 
<laughs> anyone dreading those long winter nights <laughs> where to put it wherever you give chase to love money power joy mm -hmm. when to use it when you are not applying yourself success isn't something to be afraid of you have permission to unbashedly go for it power up with Pareto and enjoy the ride magnetize your motivation love it let's look at your oracles and then i will tell you what i see all right icosahedron this is connected to perspective and are you seeing all the stars here this card keeps coming out and this is basically giving pyramid and it has 20 faces so 20 is what judgment awakening love it wow 33 pele summons you seeing the star system here it's like the spiral in within the pentagon pele is the goddess of volcano lightning fire she is the queen of hawaii islands right yeah, i think there's a creation myth connected to that island with this goddess not so sure this is also giving me medusa so heavy protection around you this change this awakening and the new insight that you are receiving is a result of what you have overcome and what you have overcome here is limiting belief like i mentioned earlier this is a confirmation and with the five here the pentagon and the master number here this is big there's no coming back this is you crossing a certain type of threshold you know like nothing is going to be the same anymore for you this is the blessing enlightenment what am i saying look at that again the milky way this is a beautiful card this almost it looks like a boat in the sky with the sail on this is a journey and this is also flame so yeah the violet flame i'm hearing this is connected to violet flame initiation the hierophant 16th path yes see the sun that's your solar energy again i love this keepers of the earth are you seeing the angels here it's crazy because i chose the angel deck and there are elephants and mm, looks like tiger could be any big cat oh the american eagles a lot is happening in this card a lot there there Mm, this is definitely alignment chakra alignment you've received a new guide it's going to take you on a journey wait this card is it's a message for your soul you see you're already here checking out a galaxy there's one here and there's another waiting there right so wait for the quantum leap when, when it comes to it's like enjoy the process all right enjoy the process do not rush and i, I don't see you rushing but this is also confirmation because it's like this is just a start Good things are happening for you, especially with Pareto, because this is about luck. Good luck is here. And I'm going to use the angel deck 
to clarify these cards. And then maybe I'll read some from the books too. Marked it already. Let's see. I want to see. I'm being guided to take that. We'll see what that is. Okay. This we are obviously taking. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. Page of Wands. Seven of Wands. See, yes. You're putting down your defenses. You are crossing the threshold, crossing the boundaries, the limiting beliefs that you held tightly to you know that's what is happening for you six of swords love this yes you're moving you're moving towards higher wisdom nine of cups i love this five of pentacles hmm. this is the advice and maybe that is why the message for weight. Guide, you got the Hierophant in your advice. Eight of Wands, total alignment here. Yeah? Hmm. This is great because this is your activation that is taking place right now. And I'm telling you, nothing can go wrong. The word, wait, the word is your oyster I'm hearing. The word is your oyster. And with this card, yeah, one word at a time. That's what I'm hearing. Look at that. The galaxy. And there's one, almost like a nebula here. <laughs> the word is your oyster. Okay. Let's see. And, okay. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Let's see this card too. Queen of Pentacles right next to Pareto. The weight that you're being asked <laughs> for, the waiting period, you will be heavily compensated for it. Especially with the Queen of Pentacles there. In the Angel deck. See, what did I say? Parado is the light bringer, right? It says propagation of light. And this is so much like the word card. <laughs> With the fire burning bright there. And again, goddess of lightning right next to enlightenment. And right next to the hierophant. I feel some pressure in my ears right now. So... The pressure of judgment, the pressure of being perceived in a certain way, all of that is being taken out of your life. You are overcoming limitations. You are overcoming blockages. The expected God, liberation, what am I telling you with the Seven of Wands? Deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. And this deliverance is connected to your personal beliefs and the energy that was thrown at you through external 
sources, people, where they they had this capability to kind of intervene with your personal will is because uh, you were not standing in your full power. So it happened for a while, but of course, be rest assured, even that served you well in the moment. So there is no scope for resentment or anything of that nature, right? Because regardless of whatever, with the seven of wands is telling me, yes, you are being, you are being liberated, but this is more so in your personal thought process, okay, as to how you were holding yourself back, how you were dimming your own light, okay, because certain things happen and it make you second guess your personal luck, your personal connection with the divine, you felt like, I feel like you guys, you felt like you've peaked, but no, that's so not the case, you're, you'll keep peaking, one peak after the other, especially with the energy that I'm seeing here. And this card, my God, so multi-layered. So you are annihilating self-doubt. You are annihilating judgment from others, okay? You're not going to feed this energy of enemies. My enemy, I have so many enemies and all that crap. You know, you're just like... Ugh. I've got it figured. So this is an awakening that is all about standing in your true power, ultimate self-confidence boost. That is what is happening for you. You're not going to let others' opinion interfere with your free will. This is, if I have to sum it up, this is you reaching a point when you will be fully assured that your will dominates. This is domination of your will, which is going to help you choose the destiny of your soul's preference, okay? That is in alignment, and you're receiving alignment right here in a very musical, flowy way. It's almost there is this energy of serendipity, And why this is happening is because it's time to heal and move beyond divisions. It's time to not feed the negative polarity of things. It, it's time to aim for more, aim higher, and perceive your own being in a in a in a in a godly sense, you know, as to you are a child of God. And it's time to act like it. And with the thirty-three there, definite connection with ascended masters there's at least one you're deeply connected with with the 33 of course it always makes me think of jesus mary buddha and maybe some tribal deities pele is here i don't know much about her but yes, you guys could be from the island nations. This could be from any island nation. You could be from Latin descent. So, you know, someone... So all, all these deities, right? They kind of mirror some other deity in some other culture. There's this... Again, this thread of unity that you can find if you sit and research, you can find that in almost every culture. It is all connected, right? So this is what you are heading towards. And of course, this is you learning from your past and moving to calmer waters. This is you not hyper-focusing on what went wrong. This is you being an optimist, 
because you know better, especially with enlightenment here in your blessing with the Knight of Cups. This is what you're receiving. This is what is being given to you by the universe. Like, here, my child, I've got all this love for you, okay? You are going to stand in your ultimate beauty that is unique to you and you alone. Your soul blueprint is unique. And it's time to own it and act like a child of God. It says perception and revelation. Yeah, perception. This is a lot about a major shift in your perception. So you're coming out of that hanged man moment. Okay? And entering the energy of temperance. I'm also picking up on some star element. So yes, that is why I wait here. Yep. Because here, with this awakening, you're already alchemizing, right? You're already transmuting the darkness into light with the light bringer energy here. And as a result, you're discovering treasure, treasure tropes within your own being, which will be very much material in nature, which you're finding. There's a promise here, right? She jumped out and I was like, yeah, we're taking it material reward and that makes sense with the luck stone and all the green right reveals secrets of nature yeah you're getting to know yourself at a very deep level and this is beautiful this is uh you know how this is going to be amazing because you are overcoming limitations of all kinds and also self-sabotage is leaving your life in more ways than one. And especially the way that made you feel alone or maybe less than in some way. All that is being taken out of your life. Trash. The advice here is to know, know that you are taken care of, okay? Your guides are very prominent here in your reading. Ascended masters came through. Angels are anyway here, always working. Even tribal deities. Patience, it says patience again. Again, says reveal the secrets of nature. This also gives me elementals are around you. And spending time in nature is going to boost this activation. And yes, this is with the Hierophant here. And says spread knowledge and industry. This is of course about research too. But you know, your research is very internal in nature. It is... Getting to know yourself, who you really are. You're like peeling layers after layers. You've been doing that. Also, this allowed you to burn a lot of karma, old karma. It says, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. This is you consolidating your faith in source energy, in the higher power, in God. No more random nihilism. You're not going to let that energy stay in your life. And uh, I'm not calling you a nihilist, but uh, maybe there were there are times that you, there were times that you tend to 
yeah get in that phase but not anymore luck is changing for sure you know why because again i always say right as within so without so And this is reminding me of the law of correspondence that came through in the previous reading. So be mindful of your thoughts. It's time to hope for the best because, yeah, that's exactly what is happening, the best. And also, when it comes to wait, your soul has been waiting for something for a long time. And... Uh, Temperance energy came through, but we don't have temperance here. And then we have the word right underneath the wait, which also tells me the wait is almost over because you have been patient. And a little more, a little while, three months I'm hearing, three months, less than three, maybe three weeks for some of you, major changes. See, God, the source of wisdom, and we know that you're moving in wisdom and in light fountain of wisdom gives success in all ventures that's exactly what is happening so yeah that's what i'm seeing here This, I'm also picking up on this energy that you have to let the journey be for a while, okay? Don't be in a rush to decide things. No, you be an observer, okay? Witness yourself because you, you are unfolding. And this annihilation... of limitation and lack mindset is going to give you everything that you desire. Okay, it's going to give you the word. It says things are being woven. You'll see, okay, you'll see. So that's what I'm seeing. I love your reading. This is beautiful. I hope this helps. If this resonates, please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Hello, group two. You chose green adventuring. One of my favorite crystals. And we actually have some here. A big chunk. I just love it. So, this is the ultimate luck stone, definitely. And what can I say? It is also bringing in opportunities for you. For this group, I feel like it's time for harvest. That's the energy I get. Let's look at your cards, but before that, let's read your card. What does it say? <clears throat> Shimmering Aventurine, the good luck stone, is a translucent green quartz containing particles that create a glittery effect called appropriately Aventurescence. Aventurescence. It's heart-centered, happy-go-lucky vibes are a reminder that this life on Earth experiment is supposed to be fun. Yes, enjoying the journey. This message kind of came through in group one too. Who needs it? Melancholic inhabitants of ruts and funks. Anybody with a side hustle. <laughs> yeah. Where to put it? In your pocket on your poker night. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, a, it's a, like, it helps. 
with that. <laughs> Wherever you encounter people, places, and things hell bent to bring you down to God level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this deck is, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. When to use it? When you find yourself in a crisis of confidence and it's time to wake up, clean up, and re-up your shine. Show off your sparkle. Okay. Yeah, we aim to. Let's see your oracles. Mm. And yes, you guys could be seeing 111. 11, 11, 101. This this crystal also protects you against psychic vampires. So it is safe for you to function from an open heart space, you know? You don't have to be overprotective of anything basically. Also it's it's time to love. Don't be afraid. And also, this is more so about material abundance. So, hoping for the best and it is bound to come in. But it, there is something also about accepting it and not fearing it and not hoping for the worst when the good comes in, okay? It's about enjoying every moment as it comes. Okay, let's see. Kabbalah. The tree of life. Hmm, interesting placement. Let me see all your cards. Infinite wisdom. Hmm. You are annihilating confusion. Also, when it comes to not having enough faith in your own abilities, all of that is going I think you are looking at what you have built so far you are acknowledging your foundations and how strong it is and how you have been selling yourself short Hmm. This is a result of deep shadow work. The energy of Pleiades is strong, Mintaka, you guys could be light workers, definitely light holders. Wow, look at that fulfillment. <laughs> this is a very peachy, beautiful card. <laughs> it's connected to riches. Luxury, happiness, and yeah, peaches. <laughs> the devil. This is coming in your advice placement. This is your advice, the devil. Be mindful of any self limiting beliefs that stem from any kind of low self-esteem okay because you have attained quite a lot you have done a lot of work to get where you are at and whatever this is that's coming in you deserve it so with the devil here do not focus on how you could make things far more perfect. Like, do not focus on nitty-gritties. Do not be nitpicky when it comes to your own being. Do you get it? Don't fall in that trap. Let's say 10 people tell you, compliment you, and, you know, share their love and blessings with you, and then there comes one POS, and they tell you something negative and you dismiss all the 10 people and you just focus on that one energy be mindful of falling into that trap okay yeah 
uh, love this akash this is connected to your activation so this is actually a, a transmission that you're receiving and this is connected to your akashic records so an opportunity that is coming in due to this annihilation of the very confusion and this is also limiting belief but a bit different from group one this is more so about more so on the line of imposter syndrome or not recognizing what you have created and focusing on what you're yet to or what you haven't you see so something of that nature and with the eight and the loops here this is mm, this is the energy this annihilation is liberating you at a very different soul level okay because of which a lot of a lot of good energy is coming in it's like floodgates opening uh, it is abundance of all kind like wisdom material abundance connected to cornucopia too because this is pan this is the capricorn card and this is also connected this is one of the three cards of the dark knight of the soul connected to the dark knight of the soul energy so in the advice here is whatever you have experienced on that path and even if because see even that journey is kind of it's divided in there are, there are levels to that energy too, right? So I feel like there is something very painful that you've been through. And that has left a mark, okay? And yes, you've done all this great work. And I feel like this is more so emotional. This could be connected to your emotional energy. Okay, so kind of makes sense with the heart space being highlighted there with the green adventure but be mindful don't think do not hope for the worst okay don't think that this is just temporary so be mindful of your thoughts because this is not temporary this is only going to get better for you see your your guidance is divinely guided so this could be an illusion okay do not let any negativity don't let any negativity make you sabotage all the good okay do not so don't hyper focus on what's not working because everything is working for you i feel like your personality is such that yeah difficult energies can like really affect you because you're very sensitive highly sensitive makes sense with the mintaka energy here empaths empaths don't fall in that energy of empaths versus narcissist and you know whatever and everybody is this or that like i don't know just like uh no you've got it no you've got it you're not a victim okay you're not a victim and you don't have to prove anything to anyone regardless of your past let go of any guilt guilt is no one's friend it's it's the worst thing you can give energy to. Don't feel that energy. Nothing good comes out of it. Guilty conscience. It's just it's just like a pocket of energy sitting in your energetic field that can be absolutely used against you. So release fall into my arms that's your final card and this is about the soul message you're seeing all the crystals here and also kind of looks like spirit 
flying away or coming in here to assist you. So your spiritual team is always walking with you. Is You are taken care of, okay? Three, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. And this is about extreme luck too, you guys. This is about extreme luck. Just a minute, let me light another candle. This is about to go off. Yeah, see? That is, yeah. Your candle is never going off. The light is never going off. You will always, always walk in light. Light workers, original light workers. And this card is about surrendering to the higher power as well as the very energy of Mother Gaia because you work for her, especially with the Tree of Life and the Fruit Tear and Pan Energy, which is all about this nature lover who is in love with life, right? Pan, Pan is this pagan deity, the goat, lusty in a good way. <laughs> And enjoys all the good things in life. This is also about transcending dogma. Not fearing the unknown. There is something about because you are here to understand the polarities, the extremes, right? Light and dark. That is why uh, earlier when I was talking about you guys being empaths, I was getting this dark empaths, dark empaths. I avoided because I didn't want to get into that. But yes, the energy of dark empath is kind of <laughs> required for the real narcissist. So empaths and narcissists, when they clash, boom, oof. It's like dark empaths and narcissists. The dark empaths are the only ones who can actually trump all that narcissism because they can see right through the low self-esteem and initially when they are connecting the empath is obviously you know is empathic and unless and until pushed and poked they will not use their empathy from the negative polarity where you know they just turn all that stuff on your head right so when they're dealing with narcs Initially, it's like, it's all nice, you know, the narcissist thinks that, yeah, I got my supply, you know, and it's all, yeah, they look at the empath as this fruit, you know, that juicy fruit that they want to devour, <laughs> only to find out that Anyway, the energy kind of turns, you know, because when dark empaths are pushed to a certain limit, it gets really nasty for the narcs. And again, most of the times, it is not from a place of... It's, the energy trumps, right? But the motivation, the underlying motivation is very different. And dark empaths are made so because when functioning in the higher octave, they have this sense of integrity, okay? They, they're, they're dignified because they're working for the light. They are the light holders. So you can call them narc warriors. But this journey is never easy. It is draining dealing with the narcissist, right? I don't talk about narcissism and all that, but it's a very prominent energy in the collective, right? Everybody's talking about it for a reason. And it is also an overused term. Every failed relationship is not about narcissism and empathy, okay? Some people have really wild expectations and low levels of accountability so i don't even want to get into that part of things but what i'm trying to tell you is some of you you're dark empaths okay you are and you have seen some stuff okay and it, it was tra traumatizing even though you, the universe kept showing you that no one gets away by doing a number on you no one and you know that very well so but but 
empathy, that deep empathy is a double-edged sword, right? It is so, especially when it comes to your personal life. So, and this is about your personal life. Yes, the energy is about collective. You're already serving the collective in your own way. And this is also, I'm getting this energy, like, just, it's like they're all dancing, right? They're all dancing together. But then it's also about, sometimes um, the negative energies that you deal with the people in the narc polarity, let's call that narc polarity, uh, when you deal with them, it is first of all very divinely guided. It's not you're going and finding these people. No, you attract these people for a reason. Divine has made it such. And I think you have been dealing with this all your life. And around this period, this energy is dissipating. You can see, you have seen some people change drastically. And this has been a very fulfilling experience in its own way. Because you understand the power of change. And if not, this is what you will see down the line. So do not let your own traumatic woundings hold you back, okay? Because you are this beautiful transmuter of energy. God has given you that gift. So use it when it comes to your own life too, okay? Recognize your prowess. Recognize your personal tree. How deeply you are rooted and connected with the higher realms. Deeply rooted and grounded in the Gaia matrix and absolutely connected with other dimensions. So... This is about not being defined, not defining yourself with your experiences, by your experiences as to the stuff that you have dealt with. And you know this, you know this. But sometimes when good things start to happen for you, which is what is happening here, opportunities coming in, major shifts happening, right? It makes you afraid as to what's the catch you know because yeah you've dealt with those energies because with the narcissist dynamic it's all about love i'm sorry i'm not laughing at you but it's like yeah the love bomb and stuff right initially and then they switch on you so it's traumatic it is even though you are this ancient soul you are this light bringer but there is something about the polarities existing in the earth plane which is very difficult to navigate and uh, you have you've been doing this and around this period you're recognizing your metal basically you are you are overcoming confusion you are overcoming any victimhood and you're very well aware of your own darkness your own shadow you know you can flip you can switch up better than the ones you've dealt with. But the thing is, don't want that side to come out. You, do not, you don't feel at peace because it's chaotic. And because you are tuned into God frequency, so you seek simplicity. You seek peace, right? But then it's not a very peaceful realm. That's what I'm going to tell you here. But this is very divinely guided. Now pay attention to your dreams because all this good peachy stuff, the abundance that is coming in, that is hmm, the not self-sabotage. Do not second guess. And no, this is not another love bombing. That's not what it is. This is different. This is different. And you know this. So it is time to enjoy the journey. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. You deserve this. Fall into my arms. This is a message from your spirit guides, from Mother Gaia. Ground your energy, okay? Ground your energy. All right, let's get your tarot. Love this. Surrender to the abundance, the opportunities, the good. You're safe, okay? You're safe. Spirit, show me. 
after I cut the back. Thank you. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, you have trust issues. Wow. <laughs> chaos talked about the tower uh, talked about chaos right this is the the tower this is what you are annihilating you're annihilating the tower the tower the very source of chaos all the chaos that you have seen i love this knight of pentacles love this knight of wands <laughs> Yes, time to enjoy. It's time to just go for it. Four of Cups. You're safe. You are safe. Three of Cups. What am I telling you? Your guides are super active. Pay attention to your dreams. Ace of Swords. Clarity. I love this reading. That is annihilation of a different level. No more anxiety, no more confusion. This is healing your deception wounds, okay? Whatever betrayal, whatever deception, whatever two-facedness you've seen or, and witnessed and uh, the, the pain that it caused you, the suffering that you have transmuted for, for the collective and for your very perpetrator, like yeah you guys you transmute you deal with transpersonal karma you know right from wrong and again the same message dignified you have a backbone strong backbone and a you're way sure. <laughs> it says, appeases divine anger. What did I tell you? Dark, dark empaths. So you guys are tools. And you know why you have this power? Is because, and you know, this is a realization that is coming to you after everything you've been through. So yes, it is validating, you know? validates you but again it's like you you're always guided by a higher power you have this higher wisdom and there is again i'm getting this energy of you're like dignified there is something so solid about you It says, it says, cures epilepsy, this angel. And this is reminding me of seizures, right? Seizures. So, it's chaotic, isn't it? And no one really understands the source of epilepsy. It's kind of like, if you research about it, it's, yeah, they don't know why it happens. Sometimes they say something's wrong in the brain. Maybe it is the anatomy. Maybe it's genetics. Like, you know, a lot of speculations. But they don't actually know. And once I, I know, uh, I came across a tweet or something and somebody was talking about it. And I was like, I think it is very much about being ungrounded. And again, I'm not diagnosing. No. It's just my own understanding. And this is basically your wires are crossing psychically. And you are absolutely ungrounded. And there is heavy overactivation when it comes to the higher chakras. And the energy behind your ears those regions are super super hyperactive so yeah it 
kind of makes you a vessel for energies to come in and go out. And it's never an easy process. And that's why the blackouts. Anyway, I don't know why this message is coming in. Of course, when I tweeted about it, everybody was kicking my ass. <laughs> so I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, and I could be wrong. I'm not saying I'm right, but you know, I do connect it to overactive chakras and total, total ungroundedness and also people who dabble quite a lot in the psychic phenomena and especially the ones who are using substances and stuff. And this person, whoever I had this talk with, yeah, they were like, you know, self-medicating and using uh, stuff and always ungrounded. Plus, uh, forever in victim mentality because uh, there is this thing about i think yeah it's a disability apparently which it is i think it is um it's a disability but i think you uh epilep epileptic people are not supposed to drive right yeah anyway i don't know why this energy is coming in but if you're dealing with seizures or something of that nature definitely seek medical help but at the same time chakra alignment is going to do wonders for you ground your energy ground and this is what came in even though the crew the spirit you see this is also okay this is why the message is coming in you know the spirit again you're, you're there's something very juicy about you even for other entities like they look at you and they're like they come in they want to like and yeah this is also connected to your light being very strong wow a lot of messages coming in hmm. but whatever this is this confusion and of course, these are multiple, multi-layered energy. So it is about the dark empath. It is about epilepsy for some reason. So this doesn't have to be that. But maybe for some of you, this is what you're dealing with. If you're dealing with seizures and stuff, yeah. Um, look into alternate medicine. As well as, of course, medical help. goes without saying. But I think grounding is going to be very helpful. Hot springs. Could be very helpful. Maybe don't dabble. Don't dabble. Now I'm going to look at the cards. Yeah, I already looked at this. This is what is happening, right? The fire of God. Again, fire. Mm. Sword and a scroll. Disruption. This is what you are annihilating. You're annihilating disruption in all areas of your life, especially four areas. So whatever messages came through, I think maybe it's all four. All those messages are for you. Maybe some are for you. Take only what resonates, okay? Because I, I think, I don't know. Anyway. Warns of disasters. Yeah, I think you've seen end of disasters. So it's like at this point you are coming into this energy where you're like, I don't care, bring it on. AIDS and transformation, totally. But I feel like for you, you have transformed quite a lot, a lot. And for you, this is more so about settling down. Okay, then they, maybe that is where chakra work is coming into. It's about finding that flow and riding the wave. Riding the wave, the ebb and flow, okay? Not being faced by extremities. You are, you are a master of extremes. You have mastered this earth matrix. That's what I'm hearing. Knight of Pentacles, light of understanding. Yeah, you know, you know, 
This is why it's happening. Acquires knowledge and cures illness. Some of you, you are overcoming some kind of illness, some kind of disease, some kind of issue, some kind of disorder. It is leaving your life. Your health is being restored. Okay? Yes, you are blooming, becoming fresh. Production and you're productive. This is your blessing, definitely. Your material is productive too. Your money, your finances, your work, your career. There's an opportunity coming in too. Prevents discovery of secret crimes. Mm, saves exiles. Yeah. Maybe in your dark empath mode, you did certain things. Is this the pile where that message came through for guilty? Like, don't sit in this energy of past guilt or whatever. Because it's taken care of. Guard the good in himself. You are on the side of the good. Whatever that is. Praise. Praise what you have overcome. It wasn't easy. The God deflecting evil. That's what you've been doing. What am I telling you? Healing capacity. You're safe. You're productive. Your happiness is productive too. Right hand of God. What am I saying? right hand you <laughs> you follow your true north and that is the path that leads to god nothing that you have done nothing that you'll do can take you off of that path okay so fear nothing fame and renown influences Commerce, voyages, and great discoveries. Hmm. Great discoveries. Again, pay attention to your dream. A lot is taking place in the astral. Hmm. This is also promotion. Promotion. Hope for the best and the best will happen. This came in in group one too. Law of correspondence. So pay attention to what's going on in, on in the... What are you internalizing and in all of that? Be very mindful of that. There is a subconscious clearing that is taking place here. All the flames here. How many flames are there? Seven. Hmm. Look. This is what is being activated. An opportunity that is going to be very fruitful, very blessed, can also put you in, in a spotlight and you, sh you should know you're safe. There's something about past catching up with you. You're safe. Nothing is catching up with you. You are under the direct protection of God. And this progress was slow to come in and maybe show in the physical. But now when it's happening, believe in it blindly because this is 
well deserving god above all names elevated and this is a message for your soul affinity and friendship obtain the friendship of anyone you're safe okay whatever you have dealt with and again i'm going to tell you even if it's the past coming back in they cannot do anything to you the past is not going to repeat itself your soul knows where it's headed you're you're safe and yeah you can see the light right you've always been walking in the light but because of the nature of your job the side job the side hustle <laughs> it was such that yeah it can it can cause confusion and fear and fear of the worst right but no you are safe you are loved and you are protected and you're blessed and you are abundant so claim this this is ace of swords who is here michael you've got nothing to worry about that's all I see. I hope this helps. If this resonates, please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, group three. You chose fluoride. Let's see what the card says. Fluoride can range from pale green to deep purple. Often, it's both at the same time. Yeah. It occurs all over the place. And it's good to wipe with when you are all over the place <laughs> who needs it the perpetually distracted anyone with a vision worth sticking to yeah when you want to focus where to put it wherever you find yourself constantly tempted to check your phone that is anywhere you have wi-fi access <laughs> when to use it when you want to take an uninterrupted 20 minutes to meditate an hour to finish a book or a lifetime to concentrate on your unique calling here on earth it says sharpen your focus okay okay this is a genius stone this is very much about achieving clarity getting rid of mental fog any haze if there has been substance abuse this is the best stone for you to keep around uh especially with amethyst but yeah I'm deeply activating so i would not suggest that you carry it all the time no use it when you are meditating and you want to relax like when you're chilling in your cave yeah around those times okay it does promote focus but i find it uh it kind of takes you in other realms it taps you in it has that energy it has been my experience working with fluoride it is said that it uh, helps against emfs just like black tourmalin so yeah keeping it around your devices it's good for that too hmm and if you have a spiritual practice it is a must-have for you especially any kind of psychic work hmm. so
So it is, there's something very stable about it, but at the same time, there is something very dreamy about this particular crystal. So it's, it works in tandem, basically. It serves you according to what is your need in the moment, okay? It can be a lot of things. It is this shapeshifter, basically, you know? Is that stone and it is genius yeah it's a genius because it kind of functions like these genius spirits right and the elementals yeah so it adapts according to your need hmm let's look at your cards invoking the infinite hmm a lot of eights DNA. Hmm. So what you are annihilating is any kind of weakness. I'm hearing your in your physical vessel. This could be connected to health. And also your heart space. Because the star here is giving all the chakras, but my attention is going to the green part, right? And yeah, that's your heart chakra. So kind of makes sense because with the eight, you are tapping into the source energy. And with the hands here, it's like energy healing could be very helpful for you. You also you have this ability to heal yourself, especially your body, mind, spirit. I'm hearing all three. And vision, I'm hearing vision too. Body, mind, spirit, vision. Hmm. Elemental, embrace. That's the star here again. It's like seven pointed star seven chakras the chakras are highlighted here you guys have a strong root chakra very strong root chakra It's lava. It's like a cave. It's like the fire and then the steam hill. And then kind of looks like water hill. So all these elements are relevant. Fire could be your element of choice. This is also about working with the young principle, being proactive. New beginning. That's your son here. Yep. This is your blessing, new beginning. This is also telling me end of a healing journey okay you've been healing at a very deep level dna healing has taken place here you have annihilated something massive and this is connected to your very lineage you have annihilated something that wasn't pretty in your ancestry you have burned some karma heavy karma and you have liberated not only yourself but your ancestral line my crown is tingling
understanding. That's Saturn. What am I saying? Karma. And with the black and white hair. She is the divine feminine. Awareness. Silence. You've seen stuff. You've seen stuff. This is you. Standing in total integration. This is next level of self-mastery. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. This is, this card keeps coming up. I've seen it before. I see the snake here. Hmm. A lot of snakes, huh? You've dealt with a lot of snakes. And again, this is reminding me of healing DNA. This is healing reptilian codes. Shredding. Shredding. Not shedding, you guys. I said, I said shredding. Again. It's deep. Annihilation. Makes sense why I'm saying shredding. Annihilated, you've shredded it. The reptilian codes. Not only in your own being, but in your ancestral line. And look where you are headed. It's almost like some of you, you are, and this is not for all, but some of you, you are switching up. On the dark. You served you have served the dark and now you're serving the light. That's a path you chose for yourself. Very divinely guided. And this is, again, you guys are geniuses. You have mapped out your life in a particular way. You work with your higher self more than you know at all times. There are two snakes here. Uh, one is in the light, one is in the dark. The polarity is so pronounced here. Look at that. And there is a couple here in this... This is also reminding me of Shoe Tough Nut. Some of you, you are on the twin journey, but I'm not getting any twin messages more so, but this is also about that deep integration within your own energy field, within your own divine and divine masculine and feminine energy. So this is, of course, another level of self-mastery. Let's see what's coming in. Because this is connected to a higher mission. Okay, this is yet to come in. But you are already here. Uh, baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. What am I saying? Your higher self is leading you. Okay, everything is working out just the way you've planned it. It's like even like contact has been made long ago, long ago, like in so many other lifetimes, you know, but in this lifetime, it's happening. It's happening just the way you have planned it. To others, maybe your life looks a bit difficult, but you have this vision, this, this clarity of vision, which even you don't understand, but there is this deep belief that you follow. There's this deep faith and it, it's deep because you can feel it in your bones. No matter what happens in your external life. 
you you never lose sight of your purpose of the path that you are on you are never lost basically even if it feels like you are you are never lost and you cannot wander off too far because the divine will lead you right back on the path you're supposed to be because this is bigger than you and you know this your energy is very spacey very extra terrestrial very star city very twin flamey yeah let's get your tarot let's see Eight of Swords. <laughs> Truth and Justice. Protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, they can try. They can try. Your, your spiritual team is highly advanced it's like you're very well taken care of more than you know and your best friend is to release any kind of anxiety that you have when it comes to your future you already are very intuitive. You already follow your set path. Okay, but sometimes, yes, you can second guess your wisdom. And in those moments, you have to remember the power of now. And that's all you can control. You're not alone. Okay? You don't have to worry about everything. Page of Swords. God, the Refuge. Governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. I'm telling you. This is a very different kind of pile. It's almost like ha 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 ha. <laughs> but it's ha ha. Ha ha ya. Ha ha ya. Angel ha ha ya. Mm. Is that a snake? It's a scroll and there's like a dude on it. It kind of looks like Cupid, doesn't he? You know what it is that you are annihilating? Self-doubt when it comes to your own wisdom, when it comes to your vision, when it comes to the dreams that you have, when it comes to the inklings, the nudges that you keep getting that, yes, you are meant for more, you, you're here, you're, you're the path shower, you're the way shower, you cannot go wrong, you will never be lost. So you are annihilating any kind of weakness that 
surfaces, any anxiety that surfaces, you're letting go of that. This is consolidation of that very soul plan, right? This is, it's like, you know it now, you know it. You're not going to second guess any of this anymore. And this is also miracles. Like you have, you've healed yourself. And this could be very literal for some of you. Like you've healed your, like certain stuff through your personal research, through your own learnings. I'm hearing Google. <laughs> yeah, like you did your research and you overcame diseases, disorders, physical ailments. And maybe even you share this with others and they, they're like, oh, you're just kidding, <laughs> whatever. And yeah, it's, it's funny. And sometimes you, you laugh at it, but it's like a miracle. And you truly, truly believe. Like God has shown you something, has proved something to you that around this period, you're coming into this energy where you are not going to second guess where you're being led. Okay? Okay. I love this for you guys. Five of Swords. Why this is happening, okay? It's because... Hmm. This is overcoming your own fears when it comes to what you're capable of okay this is overcoming that you are accepting yourself you're embracing yourself you are always going to choose yourself if there were times you abandoned yourself if there were times you did not stand up for yourself it's never going to repeat. Through this healing, through this annihilation, you are going to choose you in every lifetime. You love yourself. You are coming into this energy where the new cycle that you are starting, this is again connected to Saturn, so very wise. This is about longevity. This is about acceptance. This is about receptivity. This is about getting that inner fire where you are ready to build. You are ready to follow up on your dreams. Do something about it and not just be a witness. Okay? You have enough wisdom, you have enough knowledge, you are a genius of a sort, you're intelligent. You work with the universal intelligence. You're tapped in. Nine of Wands. God, the impenetrable secret. Universal medicine, elevation of the soul and the revelation of mysteries. This is what your initiation is connected to. You guys are researchers. You guys are, <laughs> you guys are functioning on a very different frequency from people around you. Okay? And again, ha ha see ya. It's connected. Ha ha see ya. You know, this is also telling me that the difficulties, right? You have to not take it too seriously because it's a curve. It's a learning curve for you, which your very own soul has set up for you to overcome, to transcend, to learn from those experiences. Okay? 
And every time you transcend, oh my God, the fire within it only gets stronger and brighter. It's almost like this. This is so like Big Bang. It's like sun bursting. Like look at the colors. It's beautiful. You can help a lot of people through your discoveries. Whatever research this is, whatever you found out, it is very helpful. You have a very alt lifestyle for a reason. This is also connected to the age of Aquarius. Can I make sense with all the swords here? And now yang energy the sun the new beginning with the nine of wands this is more so about nine of wands is about the wounded warrior right and this is saying there's so much emphasis on healing also the physical kind and the mysteries so i won't be surprised if this is connected to the health industry or something of that nature alternate medication alternate medicines, herbs, and stuff like that. Shrooms, mushrooms, adaptogens. Seven of Cups. God, the just judge. You know, this is you. This side of wands is different. This is you finding passion. It's not like you lack passion. You know. But through this annihilation of that weakness of that holding back for whatever reason it also served a purpose yeah it did but around this period it's about standing stronger there is something so strong about you guys because you've seen some stuff okay which really really affected you and it has only made you stronger. So I'm getting that quote by Nietzsche. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. I know there's a song and that's coming in too. But no, this is an actual quote by Nietzsche. Frederick Nietzsche. I love that guy. He's been through some stuff, right? Yeah. But his life and his works. So far ahead of his time. So this is about nothing can keep you down. You always stand back up right on your feet like a cat. And this is reminding me of the nine lives cats have. <laughs> the nine of wands. You always land on your feet. Always. And you always will. Your advice is to focus more on Focus more on what it is that you have extracted from your experiences. Apart from good and bad and whether it uh, made you happy or sad, none of that, not like that. Extract the evolution of it, how it helped you evolve at a soul level. That's where your answer lies. Because after every difficulty, something happened, which was nothing short of a miracle. Portals keep opening for you left and right. You are saved in ways that cannot be explained. 
things work out in your favor that cannot be explained is because you've worked for God. Queen of Cups, God the Redeemer. Pahaleya, Pahaleya. Redemption serves against enemies of religion, governs chastity. Chastity! Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, this is what you are being initiated into. You're being redeemed at a soul level. And you're being led. You see, this is the gateway and you're right here. Under the gateway. About to enter a different world. A very colorful world. A very bright world. Where your light won't blind others. This is also connected to soul family coming in true love coming in on this journey regardless of who you are what your age is your gender your opinions your um, needs and wants everything is working out for you everything baby steps hmm, let's look at baby steps because that is about taking action but wisely slowly not rushing in maintaining that integration of the divine masculine and the feminine within now with the loop i was reading about the orion's belt because the energy came in so strongly remember and i also read somewhere the orion's belt is also a symbol of infinity loop so all those three stars and you yeah, the points connect to the loop, right? So that is what I'm being reminded of. You are tapped into universal abundance. The work that you're doing is unique in, in a way that this is also giving me racks to riches. And now doesn't have to be material but of course can be that but it is more than that it is deeper it is like you starting off in the absolute negativity of it all and then just blooming blooming out of the darkness like a lotus you know purifying yourself shedding layers after layers and aligning with divinity itself you serve both the light and the dark you are not about i don't know this is uh, some higher intelligence i really do not understand this energy totally but this is the the energy that you're grounding into the earth's matrix it is leading toward a very different kind of divinity you know that is not so invested in duality This is 20. That's judgment. This is renewal. Okay, so since religion is here, so I'm also getting a message that, okay, yes, we are overcoming dogma and all of that. That's cool. But this is something else. This is you 
understanding religion in a way that is unique and you are not about dismissing you are about understanding how every little thing serves a purpose so you're not so invested in choosing sides that's the energy i'm getting especially with this activation this is going to be more pronounced okay and you you have to have a thick skin and i think you already the the processes that you've been through you have already developed a very thick skin, a thick skin okay so now because you'll be put in leadership positions or in in any capacity in whatever it is that you do okay you will be affecting a lot of people in one way or the other but your approach is such that sometimes people will project their insecurities and their limiting beliefs onto you okay and they'll judge you and all of that but you it will not deter you it will not harm you in any way because you are seeding in the age of aquarius and you are here to speak out but in the right time and that is what this initiation is about all the knowledge that you have acquired and you're still acquiring it is all going to serve a purpose it is or anyway serving a higher purpose okay the way you will be presenting it is going to be well received by most because with the queen of cups energy it is very much about the water with water right so it's about compassion it's about being sensitive having this capability of saying things in a way that will be received nicely that sort of energy but of course it is going to trigger those who are not ready to hear the truth so yeah you you life has anyway prepared you for that too so <laughs> you are anyway detached it is i don't know it's a very different kind of energy let's move on let's see what's the final card for once celebration celebration it also says rectification helps one live in peace with everyone yes yes haters lovers you detach it's not about you it's bigger than you you have seen some stuff you have a very high bird bird's view it's like okay like way high i don't know it's almost like you're sitting somewhere up in in heavens <laughs> and looking down and seeing understanding everything three of pentacles mental force protects against sorrows and illness yeah so these things will not affect you very deeply anymore because uh, this is you serving god it's not about you it's bigger than you and you will not take things personally even when you're not received well because half of your job is to do is to trigger because you are this catalyst so you will be walking in your catalyst energy you will be embodying this and you and you have earned this it, it is like it's like you have paid for this course all your life <laughs> Uh, you have a message you guys you have a message and it is going to spread joy in the collective in a very different way which yeah which can rub some people the wrong way but of course that is serving a purpose too because they are supposed to be rubbed the wrong way <laughs> in order for them to get polished 
as Rumi said, so that's all I'm seeing here is like amazing. It's amazing. I think it's big. This energy is very different, very unique. You guys are very unique and I hope this helps now. My nose is itchy. I'm here about to say bye spirit. What else? Yeah, you, you're just, you are, you're above judgment. You're a conduit, you are a channel. And with rectification there, this is about you making some shifts in the very foundational things uh, this is connected to institutions and religion is highlighted kind of makes sense with the age of Aquarius Aquarius the water bearer and we have the queen of cups yeah water bearer I think that guy the Aquarius guy isn't he like um he's like a water bearer for gods Right? And I mentioned something about you having this place in the heavens from where you can like, you have a vision, like you have an eye there, okay? Yeah, it's almost like one of your heads are there up in the heavens, in another dimension, let's just call it another dimension. Angels are highlighted there. You work with angels but you know this is an unfolding energy whatever this is this is through this annihilation of your personal weaknesses and the weaknesses of the body and all that this is bringing you on this path okay and over here something big is happening And you can manifest really easily with elements, especially with the fire element. You guys could be fire signs. So that's all I'm seeing. But of course, you know, it could be any sign. So that's all I'm seeing. I hope this helps. If this resonates, please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.